Nikki Waller wasn't even supposed to be an artist. If somebody had told me this 10 years ago, I would, truly would have laughed them off the face of the earth. I didn't even like art. I hated art in high school. Well, she better like it because it is her profession now. Waller's a successful artist in Scottsdale who started painting as a hobby, eventually ditching her PR business to pursue art. I love to do huge, huge paintings. That's really my happy place. I don't use normal brushes. But coming in at five foot two, There's she says it is paint. tough oh, to try and paint now. these large pieces. And then one day I was watching Mission Impossible and Tom Cruise came down from the ceiling on that thing and I went, oh! After seeing the famous scene of Cruz dangling from some wires, she started asking around about a crazy idea. I'm sure on the phone they're like, what is this crazy girl talking about? Eventually she found a guy from Hollywood who builds this type of rigging on movie sets. Nikki asked him to build her a hoist so she could paint big. With Hollywood closed because of COVID, she lucked out and he built this. Two motors on each side of the art studio pick up Nikki and whisk her to the center of the canvas where she splats, scrapes, and creates while dangling in the air. People will walk in the studio and they'll be like, wait a minute, hold on. But most people love it and they actually <laughs> want to hop in themselves. Nikki says she takes her phone with her when she's airborne just in case her Hollywood magic fails. What if the remote stops working? What if the battery dies in the remote and I can't get down? I have to call somebody and say help. <laughs> Although this rig can hold up to 2,500 pounds or about the weight of a Toyota Corolla, Nikki has no safety net below her. She says that's how she became a successful artist by taking some risks and letting faith lead the way. I've never had a safety net, and when you don't have a safety net, you have no chance, no choice but to succeed, otherwise you fall. In Scottsdale, Ian Schwartz for Arizona's Family.